welcome back to my channel originally known as honey Bree shines but i have recently changed over to now the mermaid cavern so i'm super excited i'm not sure if you guys are following me on instagram or on youtube i know it's been a minute since i posted but it's been a crazy hectic past couple of weeks as i mentioned in my last video i have decided to do a relaunch of my business so originally I started my Etsy shop back in 2020 and just with a lot of things that happened, COVID, my son passing away last year, um, there's just been a lot of changes and I thought that, you know what, I wanted to make a change for my shop as well. And that's how I decided to do a relaunch. And I went with the name The Mermaid Cavern because I grew up on Disney princess movies and my favorite Disney princess was always Ariel and i absolutely love the little mermaid and it was my all-time favorite i watch it till this day basically and i just i liked what she did you know like she collected everything she loved from gizmos and gadgets to who's it's and what's it's and so i figured you know what that's exactly what my store is i don't really have a specific i guess you could say genre or theme to my store it's kind of a little of everything and i just thought it was perfect to have something similar to the cove that she kept all her little trinkets in and so that's why i went with the mermaid cavern so i'm super excited to have this relaunch with all of you i just did a soft relaunch and if again if you're following me on instagram you'll see some of the things that i'm slowly releasing um onto my etsy shop and then on april 1st i'm actually gonna do my grand reopening or my grand relaunch and i'm gonna have so many sales giveaways raffles so it's gonna be really fun and i hope you guys all stay tuned to that and again it's just you know to support my small business and to basically get the mermaid cavern off the ground and so yeah and i appreciate all of you who have been supporting me i've been making a lot of sales so i've been really really busy which is why i haven't been able to get this diamond painting post review out but i know it's long awaited and so i wanted to make sure i got this video done this morning before getting back to work because i still have so much to do for this relaunch and yeah so anyway thank you guys again and without further ado let's get into this beautiful girl so this is orloa's miss printemps by lar philippon it is an absolute darling diamond painting I had so much fun doing this one. I love the colors. It just, it's so happy and bright and it just made me feel really giddy doing it and just watching it come together and all her colors pop. So I definitely loved, loved doing this diamond painting. I'm gonna say that this probably is my favorite so far. So this diamond painting is a 65 by 49 centimeter canvas. It is round drills, fully um, drilled canvas. I love Orloa's canvas because it is one of those softer fabric canvases. They do have the scalloped edges to prevent fraying. Their background doesn't have the sparkles like you notice in um, Diamond Art Club but it's still beautiful it's like a silk canvas so it's and again i don't think anyone keeps the edging when you frame it so so i don't really know if you know having that glitter background really makes a difference if you're cutting off the border anyway but absolutely love it there are 55 colors in this diamond painting and there are five avs charted i added some of my own special drills as you can see on the side there um i did actually seven special drills i forgot to bring down one of my other colors that's why you only see six there but basically i used one of mooney maids jelly drills the hot pink and then i used three ab's from diamond painting drills and if you notice if you can see sorry i'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not but basically 
some of the colors that I used doesn't exactly match the color code um, or the color DMC that Oraloa has on their color chart here on the side. But what I did was I kind of looked at the drills that the diamond painting came with and matched it to some of my um, special drills because I didn't have the exact color, but I didn't want to also take away from it. So as you know, when you have AB drills, they're not always going to match exactly to the DMC code as standard drills. So I figured, you know what, if I can find something that matches for the drills that I want to replace, then I'll do it. If not, I didn't replace it. But I luckily was able to find drills that matched what came with the diamond painting. For example, the 894 AB drill is not charted on uh, this diamond painting. Oh, sorry. No, it is charted. It is charted on here, but... When I looked at the color compared to the AB, it didn't look alike at all. So when I went through the drills that were like in the heart, because that's where I wanted to do a lot of my special drills was her um, in the hearts and as well as her dress and, and her, I found that the 894 actually looked exactly like a different color, which is why I ended up swapping it out for the 3716 instead so it says 894 on the bag and there is an 894 in the diamond painting but again when i compared it to the drills that came with the piece as well as the special drill i have it didn't match so i actually matched it to 40 which is like that arrow and it's 3716. so that's kind of basically how i did some of the drills and then again with the hot pink which was the 600 crystal so i used three crystals um, the 600 is actually charted. So crystals aren't going to look like your drills because they're crystals, but I kept that one the same. So the 600 was actually charted on this, which was number six. And I kept that. So all the number sixes, I kind of sprinkled the crystal in there. I didn't actually do all of the six with crystals. I basically dumped some of the crystals in a tray, dumped some of the ones that came with the diamond painting in a tray, shook it up. And I actually diamond painted that way so it's basically sprinkled into the number six instead of the whole number six being the crystal so that's kind of how i did my special drills and then i think that's 820 uh, which was like a dark blue crystal it's also not charted it was charted as 823 which would have been a darker crystal but i still wanted to make her dress pop so what I did was I only replaced the blue crystal. As you can see, it kind of sh um, shimmers in there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put in a video that I did of an up close panning of the diamond painting. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But around the watering can, like you can see, it's got that blue crystal in her boots as well as her dress and some of the flower up there. I replaced that crystal so that she would pop a little bit more but I didn't do that in like the pot the flower pot here has that navy blue but I didn't put the crystal in there because again I only wanted to make kind of her pop out and stand out a little more with that crystal so that's kind of why I went with that and then like I said this diamond painting already came with five ABs so it had a lot of ABs and then I added three more so there's a total of eight different ABs in this diamond painting and I just I think it's absolutely gorgeous it sparkles so much but even without adding my own ABs it still sparkles a lot which is why I absolutely love Orloa's drills so just kind of getting into it sorry back to the fabric canvas there was like a little small portion down here in the leaves that was kind of like dried out it wasn't as sticky as the rest of the canvas i'm not sure why i did that but um, because it's not like i left it open so i don't know if it was just dry that way or maybe a, you know not a lot of the poured glue got on that one specific area but I was still able to diamond paint. Um, I had to use like a less stickier wax because it would just, my drill would just pull right off on my pen. So I chose to use the standard wax that came with the diamond painting in that area. And then after that, what I did was I kind of just kept going to see how it would, you know, react to that. And so far, nothing has popped off. No drills have popped off at all. And I haven't sealed it yet, which I am going to seal anyway. But it still was sticky enough to not 
just pop off so i'm super happy about that and then into the drills i want to say for the most part the drills were a positive for me but there was some cons to the drills for example i honestly thought that i was going to have issues with like darker color drills because i mean a lot of the time we do diamond paintings it's the darker drills that give us issues but it's so funny because in this one it was actually the lighter colors that kind of had some issues so mainly in like the background colors so if you can see there's kind of like a two-tone in the background there's like this whitish off-white color as well as like a beige color and so those were actually the two drills that gave me the issues and um but i mean it wasn't like oh my gosh this is like so bad i'm gonna run out of drills no i had so many extra drills so that wasn't the problem it was the fact that these drills were very inconsistent so i didn't have a lot of trash but you could definitely tell that the sizing of these drills were pretty inconsistent like i was saying it, yeah it you had some like bigger drills and then you had some really small drills that you know you couldn't use in the piece so of course it became trash but literally it was just those two colors that i noticed did that which i thought was so funny so i don't know if it's because they manufactured a bunch because like i said i probably have two tubes um if you saw my kit up i put them in like these tubes um that come with the art dot organizers but yeah i have two of them left of each color so that's a lot of drills and i'm assuming that they did that because maybe they know that these colors are very inconsistent or because it's manufactured so much for this one specific diamond painting because it's basically the entire background are those colors and so i'm not sure if that's why it was very inconsistent but yeah those were the only two that i actually had some issues with but other than that all the other colors were very very nice drills i want to say they were i probably had like honestly one or two trash from the other colors like that's it and not each color like literally just one or two of all the colors so they were very very good drills it was like i said just those two specific colors and one thing that i did think was a little weird was when i looked up close to the drills of all the colors you can kind of see that um faceted or that chiseled look on top of it which is what makes the drill sparkle so if you're not familiar with diamonds diamonds have facets in them which is what makes them sparkle because it bounces the light off of different angles so with these drills i noticed them on the drills like you could literally see the facets if you look up close but with the two colors those two that i said that were kind of weird some of them were like rounded which was really weird so it still sparkles but i don't know if it's like the 3d diamond instead of the 5d or something because i know that there's two different type of drills because you could tell a lot of these were the 5d with the extra facets whereas this one i honestly probably wouldn't even call them 3d but i mean i guess that would be the lesser faceted drill but yeah that was kind of weird i noticed that it was it was rounded but when you see my up close pan of the diamond painting you'll see that it still sparkles so i i don't know it's just it was just weird to me personally but yeah so that's kind of the the only few issues that i had with the drills other than that like i said i didn't run out of colors the rest of the drills were very consistent, very sparkly, very beautiful. You could literally see the facets on them. There was a lot of ABs charted, which I love because not a lot of some diamond paintings come with like one or two ABs, and this one came with five. So I really, really love that they give that many ABs. That was it. That was it for the drills. And then um, let's talk about confetti and color blocking. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of a border on the background, but even though it was, or it looks like kind of one color-ish, yeah, it's totally not. <laughs> I was like thinking, wow, this thing is gonna have a lot of color blocking. Like if you look at the original photo, they did a really good job by the way, and I'll go ahead and put an original photo on here right now so that you can see it versus the um, rendered product. But in the original photo, you can see that there's a lot of water watercolor splotches on the photo. I didn't know that they were actually going to incorporate that in the diamond painting. I thought maybe it was going to just be kind of like a big color blocking on the background. But no, 
it was definitely confetti heavy so in this bottom corner here there was a nice amount of color blocking as well as the top corner up there but as you kind of got into the canvas towards the center they have these color splotches so i know you can kind of see it on the camera up there where the um where i'm talking about having those color splotches and then also down here but other than that the entire diamond painting was pretty much color um confetti heavy <laughs> so it did take me a lot longer because of that because there was a constant of changing out of drills but I must say because it's round drills which is why i also like round drills it's still faster than trying to swap out confetti heavy square drills because when you're doing confetti rounds you can still like place all the colors where you know it would randomly for example you have some like yellow spotches here then you got some up there like you can literally put the yellows there yellows there yellows there and then go back to a different color so you can fill in a lot more as if it was kind of color blocking so that you're not constantly switching out the colors of your drills but it will still align nicely and it's easier to fix versus squares you kind of have to get it exactly straight in order to not have gapping so you don't really want to diamond paint like here and there and here and there with squares versus rounds you can it kind of allows you to do that so that's why i like rounds because it still turns out very beautiful again you can see exactly what this diamond painting is even though it's in rounds i feel like rounds gives it a more softer look and it's instead of such a hard chiseled look and then it also allows you to be able to jump around in colors around the canvas so i don't really i did section this one off a little bit but it was literally like i cut it in half and in half basically or in like threes and then in half so i had some pretty big sections to work with and that allowed me to kind of jump around a little more with my colors so i wasn't constantly switching out my drills I like that again it just made it a lot quicker instead of having to do like a little section here and constantly switching out to make sure your squares are straight so again that's why i like it in rounds this diamond painting is still available on orloa's website it is i don't you know what honestly i'm not sure if they offer it in squares and rounds because i know a lot of their diamond paintings they offer in both this one in particular i'm not sure i think it's just rounds but don't quote me on that just go check them out i'll link their shop in the description also i am an affiliate of orlo now yay so if you look below in my description box towards the bottom you'll see my affiliate my affiliate link i may or may not make a small commission from it so if you do decide to purchase from orlo using my link i truly truly appreciate it and whatever commissions i do make it will definitely go back into the channel as well as my diamond painting so um yeah so that we it can basically help all of us and then i also have my affiliate code which is still honeybree shines so if you use that you'll get a 15 percent discount off of orloa and off of your purchase but it is going to change to the mermaid cavern or something along those lines soon i'll definitely let you guys know in the video before i do change it but for now it is still honeybree shines and you can click on that link below um, to shop on orloa they've just recently released a bunch of new diamond paintings and beautiful beautiful diamond paintings trust me you it will not disappoint you i recommend highly to check them out i think their quality is top quality if i'm going to compare it to um, diamond art club which everyone is familiar with i would say they're up there with them you know um i know some people are diehard fans of of diamond art club and i love diamond art club too you know what i mean but i also love other diamond painting companies as well and um but again it's all to your own and you know you'll either love it or you'll not love it <laughs> so but i do recommend checking them out because again you know so far with all the different companies i've tried diamond painting with there's not one company not even diamond art club that has perfect drills in every single diamond painting so you're still gonna have trash you're still gonna have inconsistent sizes so i definitely recommend just giving them a try if it's something that you're interested in in finding other licensed artwork from other companies aside from diamond art club but yeah i definitely recommend orloa i will buy again i have bought again <laughs> i actually just got a delivery from them because like i said lar fell upon just had some new releases come out i loved like i said this is definitely my favorite diamond painting so far and i absolutely love doing it and oh 
Before I forget, I did do this for an event. So I originally started this diamond painting back in February for what diamond painting event was it? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen because I can't remember, but I know it was, um, oh, sorry, Love for All Seasons DP event. So I didn't unfortunately make it because that one was due at the end of February and I missed the deadline for that because I just had a lot going on. My daughter ended up in the hospital and it was just, yeah, it was, there was no time for me to really, really diamond paint in February. And then she was there till March. So she was there for a bit. And then um, also with my relaunch, I just, yeah, I just had a lot going on. So I unfortunately missed the deadline for the Love for All Seasons EP, but that's what I originally started this beauty for. And then um, since I wasn't able to get her finished for that, I luckily found another event in March, um, which is the Spring Flings event. And thankfully I was able to enter her into that one because it didn't matter if we had already started on it. And so she is for that event. And then I also found another event, which I think is super cool. Um, it's the Great Stash Down. So I'm not sure if you guys heard of that one, but basically how that one works is you finish a diamond painting and you earn points or you accumulate points for all the diamond paintings you finish. And it's based on sizes. So I don't know exactly all the schematics of that diamond painting event, but if you look it up, you can find it on either Instagram or Facebook. But she basically has the rules on there where if it's between a certain size or a certain size, you either get half a point or a whole point. And at the end of the year, when it comes around to like Black Friday sales or Black Friday deals, you can spend your points to buy new diamond paintings to re, I guess, replenish your stash, so to speak. So I think that one's super cool. So I'm also entering her into that one. And yeah, so those are the events that um, I am doing for this little Miss Printemps here. I have also started on working my Adonai on my Adonai diamond painting, which I'm using for um, Bella Arts diamond painting event. And that one is, I think ends on like April 6th, something like that. So I'm going to look through my stash. If I can find like a nice snack size mermaid, I still want to do the mermaids and magic because I love mermaids, mermaids, everything. And so I definitely want to try and get into that one. I do have a few snack sizes, so I just got to look through it, especially like that Dime Moon one I got, that I got, um, the Cheriuki. That one has a lot of color blocking. So I think I can, I can work that one in for the mermaids and magic. That one ends the end of this month. So I basically have a few days. <laughs> I don't know we'll see maybe if I have time I, I'm trying to like weigh out my time schedule here but if I do have time then I'll um, definitely do that one and I already did the unboxing so if you haven't seen that video it is on my channel as well but yeah guys um, to end this out I'm just gonna show you guys a little quick peek of what I have been releasing so these came out yesterday these are my new tumblers so it's my pineapple tumblers same um style as the studded tumblers that i released which are the, like the starbucks inspired tumblers these are trash minders as well so if you're interested in those um super cute if whoever likes pineapples but yeah it's basically the same size it does the same thing it opens so you can put your trash drills in there and again if you ever wanted to convert it to a keychain it automatically has um, the holes for the keychain, so you can always turn it into a keychain if you like as well. And I am going to be listing my tumblers on my Etsy shop as keychains as well. So if you would prefer to have it as a keychain and or get it as a keychain and use it as a trash miner as well, it just won't have the magnets if you do that. But yeah, these are um, what I released yesterday on my Etsy shop. And then I also have, these are, my mermaid cavern themed diamond painting tray or not even diamond painting tray sorry trays trinket trays so as you can see they are shaped as mason jars and um they have foil mermaids so i'm going to be actually releasing some sticker sheets as well with my new mermaid artwork i have a bunch and I did get some people asking for other things like fairies and dragons. So I'm actually going to be doing those as well. I'm going to be having some Easter sticker sheets coming out soon, um, hopefully in the next couple of days. But basically, yeah, these are like my mermaid theme trays. So as you can see, there's sand in the gold with some gold um, glitter. And then you have your gold topper up here. It's basically a clear resin tray. 
and then you have your little cute foil mermaid and then in the back i did like a little oceany wave type of scene with with some white so that's what this tray looks like and then for our silver tray we have glass down here instead of the sand so it sparkles and then you have your foil mermaid there if you can see her sparkling there with our silver cap and then of course it's still clear so yeah these are my new trinket trays that are going to be out on my etsy shop today so again guys thank you so much for being patient with me i know that this post review has been a long time coming and a lot of people have been anxiously waiting for it i hope you guys enjoyed this post review and it, again it's my honest unbiased opinion i personally do love oraloa and their quality is amazing um but you guys also heard my negatives about the drills so i'm trying to be as open and honest because again i know diamond painting can cost a lot of money and you know i don't want you guys buying things that i i wouldn't buy or that i feel like wasn't worth buying um when you have to spend your hard-earned money for it so yeah if you haven't already guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel again i am now the mermaid cavern so um if you guys have any questions or any comments go ahead and leave them down in the comments below i just ask that you guys please keep it kind um you know we're doing what we all love here and if it's not something you love then just turn the channel so to speak <laughs> go to a different channel or go to a different um youtube video you don't have to watch this but yeah i just ask that you guys keep it kind please and like this video share it please with your friends your buddies your diamond painting buddies and again you know word of mouth is a lot thank you to jada gem shop she um as well as enablers outpost they both gave shout outs to my shop and I have been doing a lot of business since then so thank you guys so so much for that i appreciate it so much and i love that we can all band together here with 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 our diamond painting community and and work together i love that so thank you guys so much and i will definitely see you guys back on the next episode all right have a good rest of your day guys bye